the two players. Oh. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, see what we got going on. Ooh, good, good. I think we're gonna see a lot of a uh, lot of crazy DK combos. I love yeah, DK Yeah, GSO's combos are Forward spectacular. There it is. Yep. Get, get a lot of high really, aggression. A lot oh, of high wow, aggression. That. I don't think he's gonna run on stage, but. Oh no. Yeah, this is a get up attack, okay. This is the back air there. Let's see some space back airs. Yeah, it's one of those weird things where I don't think Shake's needles are as good as this game as they are melee, but you still gotta use them in a matchup like this where you gotta outplay DK in neutral because he will beat you in the punish game. Switch to Zelda just to get eat that back air. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take a bit more knockback there just. Because oh. Zelda's actually good in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Asking why the transform so long. Oh, he's just able to quickly oh, get back to the ground and immediately so jab out of his aerials. It's very, very oh, quick and aggressive. And also, he does that quite a lot. I call it giant punch. punch. I don't know what it's actually called. It's, it's giant punch. Giant but everyone punch. calls it Donkey Punch because it's Donkey Kong. Yeah, I mean, that makes more sense. Because, you know, he's a donkey and all that. Yeah. And I think the only reason that's. Well, I don't know oh, if it's appropriate for a stream, but it's not an appropriate yes, name. Correct. Anyway. So. Uh, we'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> She's trying to stuff out with back airs. Crouch cancel. Yay. This is that giant oh, yeah. punch. Oh, up air instead, it's good. I think it yeah. was actually an interesting way to catch his DI. He's he holding straight up to survive the forward air. Just go straight to his death instead. I really like the way GSO's following up his aerial approaches with jabs. Uh oh, using that platform to turn, but oh wow, that back air is just. A lot of range on that. Giant monkey foot. She's trying to find. The starting grabs. to attack chases. The chain grabs are always real, with Sheik. If you ever have to ask, is it real? And Sheik, it is. If there's one character that it's <laughs> gonna be real on, it's gonna be Sheik. Oh, the cargo throw backwards to throw up. That's really cool. This is the punch. This is the dirty punch. <laughs> Good dash attack there. Oh, that was really pretty. I don't know if that was his best option, but it was definitely pretty. And that's popping it up. Quick game one, GSO takes it over Jank. Um, chain grab is only 50-50, but I mean... No, no, yeah, it's definitely, it's not, it's chain grab. It's not melee, but it still has the same kind of thing. It's still the same kind of, uh, just read the DI, grab again, read the DI, grab again. Yeah. Two bands, stage, character, character. Is this just for their benefit? Or? No, no, wait, wait. Character first. Character first. What am I saying? Character first, then bands and stage. That's just us here. We're the super ones. Because it's totally better that way. If no, you guys really. want to do it for the set yourselves, you can do it however you like. But, but it's up to you guys. I mean, if you want to be weird. <laughs> OPDI mix up. It's not that bad. It actually involves certain mind games. Uh, we have a player here, Airway, when he plays Sheik. <laughs> We're talking about, uh, we actually do characters here first because stage first is stupid. But, the Jank just be Castle Siege? It's super weird. <laughs> and we're go we are going to see a Puff DK match, so here we go, guys. Back airs for days, everybody. Oh, we're way back. Oh, wow. Wow. The power shields all the time. Oh, up till rest. Let's talk about something that's real. Down smash into nothing. Not, probably not the best punish, but... Honestly, against Sigma Club, a grab might be the best punish. You just need so much stuff. But <laughs> what do I really know? I'm not a, not a Donkey Kong player, <laughs> per se. It's really interesting to see, like, uh... Yeah, this is actually experimental, just for the season. This is literally the last day Castle Siege will be legal. I don't think it's as bad as people, like, act like it is. It's still a very good stage. That being said, there are great stages in PM, so it's not, it doesn't quite make the cut for PM. It's like unique, but that's not enough to yeah, like, yeah. keep it and there. It's not like, it has a lot of qualities. Like, I like it, we, this is basically replaced Fallon for us. Uh, it's tall, it has platforms, and it's unique. I thought, I think that this is a little better. It's there, yeah, it's not terrible, it's good. So this is experimental, as soon as it came out, we tested it. Um, we cut Warrior Wear and Fallon and added this one for our nine stage list. We only do nine stages here, we're gonna do 11 next season. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, literally starting Tuesday during, when the new season starts for our uh, Capital Region ladder and all that. We're get, we're, this is gonna be good. All right. I don't. I think it's a good stage. It, re it really is a lot of fun to play on. It allows a lot of interesting mechanics. Um, wow. And the yeah, in the meantime, back to the match. DK has yeah, finally yeah, gotten that. That was good. Honestly, Jank's doing a good job of spacing better this time. Yeah, he's playing a more. Definitely better than his thing. He's playing the neutral a lot better and trying to avoid those combos. It should help with Puff just because A, it's his main, and B, yeah, of the floatiness definitely. and, you know, how much uh, spacing the. Aerial there. He can't lose his top here, that'll hurt. Yeah, it's, it's like better positioning holding the left side of the stage. But I think it's kind of interesting how, like, you can hold the left side of the stage better with certain characters, and, like, it creates interesting little situations between different characters. But, I don't know. I, I'm also, like, I, I hated stages like Skyworld that stayed on for forever on the front page for no reason, so. Skyworld is just, like, you can't fix it. It's I'm, I'm also <laughs> one of those weird ones that I don't like Delfino Sleeper that much as a stage. Oh, wow. Great I, I won't. I kind of want to give it a chance. I just, I don't think it's like, it's just not as good as the other big stages. Like, if we're going to add a, another big stage after Dreamland, uh, and Yoshi, we're using Yoshi's ball right now, I think Distant Planet is just better. And I don't like Northmare, but even that, I think, for sure, Hmm. There's a reason PM has issues with stage list, man. There's just so many good stages and different opinions. But hey, that's why, like, different regions can use different stages. I think, I think the, I saw the Michigan one actually had, uh, Yoshi's Island Brawl and Fountain of Dreams as neutrals. Yeah, but you can do that because those are like those are more neutral than anything that's in melee comparatively. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, I'm just saying I it's it's, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's cool that oh, different regions can do different things. He just did back air and more back air and it worked better. Wow, that was a really good stock. Yeah, there's a bunch of different opinions. I don't really like take the arts too, like people get super upset about stages just because there's so many good options that like it's hard to be upset. You just got to know your area, what you're playing. You got to know if you're going for a tournament soon. You got to do that. See, Lila is a, another thing where I think it's a good stage, but like it's just it's got too much too many weird things where you don't need it. Like you don't need Lila in any any stage. Oh wow, good back air evens that up real quickly. Oh boy. We should be talking about the stage, but we're talking about. Uh, we're sorry, we're talking about uh, the game. Yeah, we kind of missed the entire game here, but. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're catching the gist of it. Wow. Chris. It's surprisingly like. Spacing these back air so well. DK, the DK has also had like. Well, not as many oh, back airs wow, as I would have. Ooh, forward air to punch. Ooh. Wow, great job, D uh, Jank, getting out of that just barely. Forward air that time. Yeah, GSO uses those nairs a lot, usually. I guess this is a matchup where Puff can't really outrange that in any way. It's very it's much quick. like a Marf nair where you can yeah. like just use it very early or late oh, and be able to just it? land. Wow, great game from Jank. That was really impressive. Uh, he's definitely, Bringing it back. He's not a big PM guy, so he can kind of space that well and do well. I'm interested to see if GSO goes Fox at all during the set. One yeah, Lila, Lila, you want to nerf counter picks if possible, so you want to like make it so it's, it gives an advantage, but not one that's too strong. There are some unwinnable matchups on Lila. Honestly, that's why I think Warrior Wear and Warrior Land now should not be allowed in uh, most counter lists. Just because it's such a polarizing stage where it's like, if you're Falco, Marth, Ganon, you have a huge advantage over most of the cast. I guess it's an auto ban against those characters. It's so many matchups. <laughs> Say, oh, you're playing Marth? Well, guess what? That's banned no matter what. Like, I'll ban that, and then I'll look at the rest of the stages, because I just can't be allowed. Where Castle Siege isn't necessarily like that. Even Yoshi doesn't like that. Like a small Yoshi's Yoshi story? Yoshi's story? Yeah, even that. Like it's a small stage with small platforms. You usually know if you want to ban it, but it's not like it's there's not still, auto. It, feel, it still feels like there's room there. Yeah. Like the blast zones still feel like decent enough and Yeah. So yeah, we have Yoshi's story and Castle Siege is the two smallest ones. Uh Dreamland and Big Yoshi Yoshi's Brawl. Yoshi's Island is it? Yoshi's yeah, Island. Dreamland and Yoshi's yeah. Island are two big stages for nine. We're gonna add one big and one small. So we're probably moving Castle Siege for, uh, we're gonna put Fountain, and what's the other one? I think we're doing Fountain, I think we're doing Fountain and Warrior Land. Oh wow, great. Oh, match. I thought it was Distant Planet. No, Distant Planet is on the other side, big side. Uh, I okay. think we're adding, so we're getting rid of Castle Siege, so we gotta replace that stage also. Oh, wow. uh, okay. Are we gonna see another uptilt rest coming? I hope so. He's kind of fishing for it. There it is. Do it for the crowd. Just, just Do it for KK. It. You can see him looking for it, you see him eyeing it, getting ready for it. Yeah, he's definitely trying to get these, clean up these stocks as quickly as possible. Make sure he doesn't have to deal with... Uh, no can he make it? <laughs> yeah, there we go, alright. And he saw jump stuff spare, too, wow. Yes, uh, it's the jank way. Finding find ways around it. Oh, we have the stupid KK Rider song is coming out now. Saturday night? It is Saturday night, isn't it? Damn. Saturday night, guys. KK Rider, got us again. Ringer, why aren't you here today? 
Oh, I'm surprised that Master showed up. I thought you would be with him. I messaged him uh, asking if you two were showing up. Let's see if I can get doubles going. Dude, these spacing, the spacing on uh, Jenks and Aerials is so nice and done. Yeah. He's not just a back air, he's spacing those forwards really well. Oh, good forward, good forward to there. Yeah, back airs, keep him off. Can I just keep him low? There it is, good trade. No, Jinx is exactly the same. Jigs' buff from 3.5 is that he can now use Beam Swords correctly. Yes, yes. Just in case Peach gets a Beam Sword, and throws it, you catch it, then now it matters. That's his one buff. Honestly, I'm pretty sure, like, the PMDT just doesn't really know which direction to go with Jigs, so she's just kind of stuck in limbo as her melee incarnation until they think of something. Yeah. Hey, Ringer, if you're a place to stay for a Capital Region tournament, hit me up. Hit Tristan, DLG, up on Facebook. I got you. Oh, wow. Fish oh. that punch. Doesn't get it. Yeah, and that, like, extends his hitbox, so that yeah. bear is going to yep. steal that stock. And Jank is right this game, yeah. Up tilt. Aw. Oh. Nah, uh, GSO was prepared for that one. Drill. Picked up, there it is. That's Not it. for that, though. Wow. No contact. That was a really impressive game. Really good showing of that. Showing us how he beat Josiah earlier. I wonder if this is going to force a switch, or is GSO just going to have to hunker down and see what's going on here? <sighs> we're, we're, we're working some two days in the future. Uh, Blackfish is a big tournament. I don't think it's two days, but it's a big tournament coming up September 5th, I want to say. Two weeks. I think it's two weekends from now. So. Something like that. September 5th. Oh, wow. Right? September 5th is actually really close. Yeah, two weeks, man. <laughs> oh, man. We were gonna host Smash and Cookies next week, and then we're like, well, why don't we put three tournaments in a row? So. Yeah, that's a bit too much. Yeah, Albany is far. I wanna host it next next to the uh, Q's bi weekly again. I'm gonna try to head to that tomorrow. As soon as I oh, put my mask and be calling and sick to work again. He's putting on the fairy wings. This is not a drill, guys. Winner for characters? Winner or the loser? Fox. <laughs> Jake Rock the cutie pie tag, which uh, suits him because look at that. Look at that I hope he knows he can add another E at the end. Probably not going to though. Captain Falcon. Wish he knew there was actually a pie side. Falcon, very interesting pick here. Wow. <laughs> Jake's like, are you serious? You're just kidding. <laughs> Two bands. Um, I think I've seen GSO's Falcon before. It's, it's probably pretty good. I think we're going to see... I feel like he's got a band, uh, Small Yoshi's Yoshi Story. Really? That's, see, that's weird bands to me. Alright, it's a... Uh, Jiso is a fox main in melee, so it's weird to see him go Falcon here, but honestly, Falcon is a pretty good PM. Is this hand warmer or is this real? It's hard to tell, because Jank clanks no matter what, you know? He's gotta practice it, he's gotta do it. I mean, Jake doesn't have many platforms to retreat to. Oh, I hope Jank doesn't forget that you lose invincibility and keep planking. Doesn't seem to be mattering right now, but oh wow. No, he made it back to, well. He made it back to the stage. I just don't know if he actually knows the stage. Like, I think he does. In melee, he plays the lamest. He intentionally tries to go for the rest. Oh, he'll do back there. I mean, Falcon can combo floaties very well, right? right. It's so. more like if you like, he just sits in the plank and just kind of hits his up tilt. Ringer, who are you playing melee? I know you're Ivasaur in PM usually. I actually almost went Ivasaur against Mass today and then I remembered he plays with you. I'm like, well, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I'll stick with Lucario. Gets that Meta Knight. Oh, good back here. I can still makes that one back. Is Dash Attack oh, supposed to be able to reach that low or is that just a flub? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Not, not a great death. Not an honorable one. A lot of people have just been kind of dropping off ledge. Like, sometimes it's just like. We missed jump. Why? Why? Oh, that's not gonna combo. Yeah, it's really hard. Like honestly, in me in melee, it's tough just because like Pop kind of outplays everything he does. And so if I lose, and like 
It's definitely better for DK than it is in Melee. Wow, I thought he was going to that rest there. Jab reset rest. Oh, wow, that, that was pretty. Jank. He almost got it off the, uh, the first up air. Or up tilt, I think it was. Like, four years. Switches it up. This is the grab there. I want to see him rest out of a grab or a dash attack. But he is not throwing out a lot of dash attacks. So. Ooh, I like that. Alright. We grab. See those back airs come out now. Alright, space goes back air as well. GSO playing the role of Falcon. Falcon speed is definitely helping. Yeah, he, he's a uh, pretty decent at covering close. I don't know. I think it his matchup is in melee. I think it's definitely Puff Aver personally. And I think it's still a little Puff Aver. Falcon has gotten buffed, so. Oh, wow, he just. Yeah, wow. Wasn't expecting that. Good tech is GSO. And the fire spike. For those who don't know from it, wow. Just almost really good style. Almost cleaned him out right there. For those who don't know, uh, the spike for Falcon PM, compared to melee, actually has a fire. Yes, Blackfish is two weeks, speed bus. September 5th. Now, you need better internet. You're way behind us. Ringworm is answering questions like 10 seconds later, you're like 3 head minutes behind. Refresh that stream, my man. Me? Doesn't get to me. Back arrow. Back arrow will do it. You gotta even, even stop here in that game. Wow, Maybe. single hit in there to jab. Alright. <laughs> little things, man, little things. Gotta have that detail. Oh, ha. the This is the top cancel, I think. Unless maybe he just wanted to, you know, hit that raw dog time. Sometimes not taunt canceling is the saltier, saltier option. And I mean, oh, it's Falcon, you kind of have to go lead. for the most style. He's gonna go for back air and up air here. Try to keep him on stage. Honestly, not being able to play forever is actually kind of a big deal for this matchup for Jank and GSO. Just the up tail and shield. Good forward air space. Can't be punished by that. Oh, misses the dash like after the pound. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, he gets That could have been bad. We all thought, I think we all thought he was dead. Both players included. Oh, misses the knee again. Uh oh, is he coming? Up air? Uh, Jank doing a good job of just kind of patient, trying to be patient, but he ran out of sometimes. So, I think he ran out of jumps. Oh, good job getting that ledge. Wow. That didn't look like much, but that was hard fought. You're gonna bust your out. You're terrible. You're gonna lose no matter what, Beatbox. Suppose you're gonna play PM all day. What? Good forward airs. Oh, jab. Oh, wow, that was again. cool. Wait, there it is. Alright, Mitchie <laughs> GSO. He's definitely feeling Killing it. That. He could totally use this momentum going into the next episode. So. Then I thought for sure Jack was gonna have it after he got back to LA. <laughs> I'll Started hitting the shield well. Definitely glad this is going so back and forth. <laughs> She's still with that Ric Flair semi pop up. He's saving the full pop up for when he wins, clearly. I mean, I would. What are characters? Same characters? Um, you have Box, to ask like, him. Honestly, he has a pretty good DK. Like, it's not a great matchup for him, but his DK is pretty good. And Fox versus Puff in this game is strictly worse for Fox than in Melee. So if you're used to Melee Lasers and Melee Shine and even Melee Up Smash, where it's better there, it's just like the little things can kind of mess him up. So, it's, nice. it's always nice to have like the melee players like have fun with other characters too. I mean, yeah. Apparently, he's played. He, I've seen him play Falcon in. Uh, Melee before. It's just surprising to see him do that against Fox when matchup wise, Fox is probably going to match up. But. Anyway, we're back to Dreamland and uh, both still playing Down their stomp. respective games of spacing and dash dance camping. Uh, ooh, misses it. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to kill it. Alright. That nice. GI looks silly going straight down, but he might have been trying to obstetech it. 
so I might have been holding both sticks down. Mm -hmm. Oh, great, good grab. Misses this stuff that time. It, he almost tried to react with the eye and then just kind of guessed anyway. Ooh. Good back airs. Yeah, bears him out of uh, potential knee there. So trying to apply pressure. Oh, good forward throw there. Oh, misses a tech there also. Oh, yeah, Jank coming out there. Good job, Jank. Finding a successful uh, way down there. Reverse grab from the up beat. Ooh. Ooh, good up there. Oh, misses the forward smash. The raw dog. I think it might have been trying to supposed to be a drop down knee. Just kind of is that what the raw dog is? What? No. <laughs> the raw dog is when it's not guaranteed you're set up. Ah, okay. Like, if you up tilt rest, that's a setup for rest. If you just jump into rest, that's a raw dog. You raw dog up smash, you just ran at him and up smash. You didn't set up. You didn't have up smash. He's not even not even tongue canceling. Not even learning the most. It worked. It's like he learning. got him off the ledge with that. The I think I think we found new meta guys. I don't know man. Tongue canceling is the most important PM tech that exists. So That's one of the huge buffs Falcon gets in this game is tongue canceling. <laughs> Another ton. Yeah. Now you're gonna see the anti bait where Jank tries to bait him into a dog punish. This is a stop. Oh wow. Messed him out of it again. Yeah, you gotta be crisp. You're gonna get punished for that. Just similar to uh, Fox's up throw up air at certain percent against Buff. You get rested right out of it if you don't not quick enough. Gets to me that time. Jank should be coming back once he gets an up air or back air here. I love the fairy rings and buff. They're so cute. The cute glitter takes the cake though, like. It's perfect. Oh! Oh, oh interesting up air choice there. Almost like a fadeaway up air. Just gotta get him off stage. Uh oh! Oh man. I didn't taunt. didn't quite get the punish. No, that, that spacing was perfect on the oh, taunt though. Oh, the up air that time. That time almost kind of reaching for it. Chiso's moving around the stage like a madman. Jake's gotta kind of give him a reason not to. Give him, give him more hitboxes, man. There we go. Uh -oh. Alright, really good up air there. I'm trying to set up into a kill of some sort. I think we're going to see him start pushing for back air. She still likes the back air kill. And, uh, he's kind of angled. Little jab. And we're neat, maybe. He's kind of lunging for this piece. Interesting air choice there. I don't think that was necessarily better than up air, but it does keep the hitbox out longer. Now just Trisha fills up her skin. Uh oh. This is a dash attack. It's interesting to see uh, Jank use dash attack as well pretty often, actually. He almost uses a follow up for certain things. Is that order? Okay. Maybe it's supposed to like oh, actually like hit under the ledge somehow. Oh, missing. What? Can you. Can, are you. Part. Oh. Hmm. Again? Not really? Rolling. You see Jank's face. Even he's surprised. Like, wait, what? That is not a PM melee difference. That's just poor timing. Or he's just not rolling. Holy oh, trade. Should trade yeah. stocks. Wow. Alright, stock of champions here, guys. Yeah, gonna be, that's gonna be the finisher for the set. I'm on each other. Jake's gonna run to that ledge. The crowd's rooting for Jigglypuff. In Jake's fashion. Up tilt? Whoa, it doesn't quite connect with the up tilt. Ducks under the nair. Oh, I wonder if that's that, the I feel like that's been helping, uh -oh. like, a lot more than we realized. The, the, the back airs from PSO kind of like are interesting choices. Good, good choice to go up air there instead of D. He was gonna hit. Maybe he's just trying to cross up like. That more shield's looking pretty low for Falcon. I can keep putting on the pressure. He might be able to get a good shield open to rest. Oh. Jigs has a really, lot of percent on her though. Really good soft knee. Way to get back to the ledge. Ooh, great. Jigs fights yeah. hard for the ledge and gets it. Back air. That was see, there's nice. a dash deck follow I was talking about earlier. It's really uh -huh. interesting to see how it follows oh, it up on the tech. He kind of reads the tech in place, or I guess covers it more than points. Um, up there, not quite connected to the knee. <laughs> little moonwalks of GSO coming out. We're trying to be pretty. Hit <laughs> back air. Oh, that was just a close set, ending the close game. Alright, here comes more planking. 
Yeah, hey, listen. If you, uh, if you're gonna tight spot like that, you gotta go with what you know. <laughs> oh, misses oh, the man. Kind of just throwing that out there. Very risky. It's gonna be hard. See, now that Falcon is present, it's harder to set up a duress. So you're gonna see the walls of back air so, uh, change instead of up tilts. Oh, another good back air. Spacing very well. Getting my heart racing. Can't imagine the players right now. Uh oh. There's up air. Falcon is heavy as heck, so he's not quite dead yet. Oh, oh man. Barely misses. The up air is really strong, though. Game's gonna keep going on. Only a minute 45 left. I wonder if Tank's taking time out at all. Back air coming out. Back there, weather. Oh! We're living. Oh boy. She is so ready to pop off. You can see it. He's like, oh, I can't wait to pop off right now. Is that gonna happen? There oh it is. wow, GSO clutches oh, it out. Games. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was alright. Oh, nice job, man. man. Alright, so we're gonna have GSO against